So first in surgery is a um, procedure that allows us to be very precise when we perform an operation. The fluorescence will mix with your blood and it will show us the areas where blood perfusion is better and areas where the blood perfusion is not very good. So that allows us to do more precise operations in order to connect tissue that has good blood perfusion with other tissue that has also bl uh, good blood uh, perfusion. That also allow us to see uh, lymph nodes who are, um, that are stations that are important for us when we operate patients with, with tumors uh, to make sure that we are taking all of those. Basically what we do is we inject a substance uh, through your veins that is completely uh, safe. Uh, it's a very low risk of uh, reactions, uh, minimal reactions, and it will not affect any of your organs whatsoever. Once I inject this contour through your vein, I will change my camera settings to be able to, or allow me to see this contrast interacting with your tissue. So I will be able to see which areas I need to take out, which areas I have to be careful with, not to injure other organs, and make sure the blood supply is optimal in order for me to do the operation. So the benefit for the patient, for you, is that I will be, uh, the operation will be more precise, reducing the complications, and optimizing the outcomes. So I use the uh, fluorescence in order to be more precise, to decrease the risk of uh, complications, for example, leaks. I do a lot of foregut surgery and a lot of redo operations, so I use the um, fluorescence for angiography uh, to make sure that I have good tissue uh, in order to put them back together, make sure that I don't have ischemic tissue uh, left behind, and also for the lymph node dissections for gastric and esophageal cancer. Well, this, this, pro this process is so easy to use. Uh, it is not very complicated. The dye is very safe. It's ubiquitous anywhere in the OR you will find it. It's easy to mix and to administer. And you don't need, you don't need a lot of hardware. Uh, all the new uh, scopes have the option for fluorescence. The robotic firefly technology is built in. So you don't need to do much. Just uh, decide to do it. Uh, no, not really. You know, in our hospital, I, I work in a tertiary hospital, the Mayo Clinic, where we have the contrasts available anytime. And, as I told you, we have all the hardware um, available, so for me, there's almost no barriers. I think that once you start using it, uh, you will see advantages. Some surgeons don't think that they need it, and that was my initial reaction. So like, I don't need this, I can do it without. But once I start seeing the results and how easy it is for me to navigate through these complex operations, I, for me, I do it every day.